name is Will Abbott. Um, I'm a citizen and I'm also a member of Occupy Seattle. Um, what I'd like to ask is for assistance with um, the situations that are going on regarding the DSHS. Um, it's in a dire situation and more money is being taken from their budgeting. I know as a city that doesn't have anything to do regarding um, state, um, but if the members of this board would, would stand up and, and let it be known that they recognize that this is a serious situation. The budget is being balanced on the backs of people that cannot protect themselves, and that's not fair. The people that cannot stand up um, are the people that should be the most protected, um, not utilized because of the most vulnerable. Um, and it's becoming a real situation. Um, at the end of November, another more money is going to be taken, and when does it stop? When when do we stop hurting the people that can't protect themselves? You know, and you're the people on this council, the people that can't protect them, and I'm asking you to do that. Thank you. Dr. Montgomery will be followed by Kevin Benedict and Ellie Rose. Thank you. Um, I want to thank the uh, the mayor and the city council for our continued permit and. Uh, your hospitality and providing uh, the support that you have for Occupy Seattle. Um, I also want to remind everyone that um, of, uh, of what the movement is about. Uh, to remind them of their statements of commitment toward the goals in banking finance. Uh, economic disparities, medical, education, employment, all of these are important issues. Uh, the occupation uh, at a city level has somewhat become sidetracked on some of the issues that were facing as Americans and of what is mainstream America, uh, I think a lot of people can agree on problems of government at a federal level. And, you know, the whole core of the movement is, is that, you know, that we're just not, we're not going away. And that, you know, we'll be here nationwide until at least the next election. Um, we will be a factor. People can oppose us, join us, or they need to get out of the way. I mean, uh, the occupation, meaning tents, camping, okay, is the fundamental modus of assembly in this movement. Uh, let's spend less effort in our government opposing peaceful assembly and uh, and more effort opposing the corporate interests that hijacked our democracy. Uh, our message resonates with a lot of Americans. So that's what I want us to work toward. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good afternoon. Nice to see you. Uh, thanks for having us speak again today. I've been rehearsing this speech for a whole week, and now it always changes. Um, the first thing I'd like to say is that if you sense anger coming from us, it's not at you. I, if, if, you if you sense that, please remember that you're the people that are listening to us, and, and, and we love you for that. You're the only people that are listening to us. About, but the most important one is that the word in the proposal is review. And I'd like to remind you that under the radar, the Federal Reserve System, uh, unelected private bankers, they're more, no more federal than Federal Express, have decided to backstop $75 trillion in Bank of America derivatives. That's trillion with a T. They're going to do the same thing with the other too big to fail banks as well. That means that these gangster banksters that have <laughs> taken over, the, that are trying to foreclose on the earth now, country by country, uh, are going after the FDIC. 
it is important that you do not review taking this money out of the banks for gangster banks and putting it into a local bank that does not have derivatives exposure. it's important that you do it. there just isn't time anymore. um about the occupy movement for every person that you see camped there one of those brave people that are willing to lock arms and get batons in the stomach like the kids in berkeley there are thousands of people behind them this movement is much bigger than the civil disobedience kids and older people that are risking their health and their safety to make a statement by camping someplace and be non-violent and follow the principles of gandhi and follow the principles of martin luther king and follow the principles of nelson mandela the ones that have taught us that this movement is 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 possible uh, i've never felt so much hope in all my life and and i and as far as my friends who told me i got to make sure to bring you guys along and 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 build a picture i agree with them you are the people that can make a difference in this world you are the city council of the emerald city in the every evergreen state and and what you do will have an impact all around the country thank you Hi, my name is Ellie Rose. I live in Wallingford, Fremont area, and uh, part time at Occupy Seattle. And um, it is cold out there. Um, uh, I feel incredibly honored to be alive at this time, to be part of this movement. I think it's the most exciting thing that's gone on since the civil rights movement. I feel like we're looking at paradigms that have been, in many ways, invisible to us. And for the first time, I feel like, as a people, we're coming together and identifying the shadowy, behind-the-scenes giants that have so gotten in the way of our being able to move forward with issues of social justice and environmental justice. Um, some of you know me from my environmental work with Zero Waste Seattle and um, Foam Free Seattle. And we know very well, because we all went through this together at the city council, that the plastics lobby came in and spent $1.4 million on a local uh, uh, election. And um, that is a prime example of why we need Occupy Seattle, so that we can have truly a government that is for the people and by the people. And right now it is a, go a government for corporations, and people are being screwed. I'm about to lose my basic health insurance. Probably I'm going to lose it. I work with homeless women. I see women who've been cut off from GAU who have absolutely nothing. It's shocking that we're leaving, we're balancing the budgets on the back of the people who have the least. And meanwhile, ExxonMobil, latest stats I have, 2008, made $19 billion and paid zero in taxes. Why are the homeless women I'm working for losing all of their money and don't have food stamps either? Why is that happening? So I really thank you so much for your resolution and support of this so we can start looking uh, as a community at the tax loopholes, the loss of revenue from jobs being shipped overseas, and uh, the, the myriad of other issues that keep us from having the kind of public monies that we need for the benefit of all. Thank you very, very much. We need to do this together. You guys are the government, we are the people, and these interests are so entrenched that it's going to take everybody working together. We really appreciate your support. Thank you.